Hello everybody, it's Ishmael and your priest and I welcome you to today's video. You know, something that I've been meditating upon from yesterday to this very day. Now I'm just glad that finally I'm making a video about it, you know, about a setup. I want to talk about those that are around you, those close to you. And then I checked everything and I was like, how did the Lord Jesus got to be? crucified to be stabbed in the back but then it all happened with those around him right and then it was those that he loved the most those he trusted the most but then something that you should note down is that after the betrayal still he never threw them away he still forgave them and i see the same pattern with joseph his brothers who sold him just because at the end it led him to something greater he never held a grudge against them. So this is teaching me something, you know, and I think you should note this down. That as much as you, it's not like at the end of the day, you're supposed to just uh, drop your guard and then just allow everybody to walk all over you, stab you in the back and you'll be like, oh, this well. Some stabbing in the back can lead into your demise for good. That is why you need to pray. That is why you need to be careful where you need to. That is why you need to not allow it to happen if you can. But then what happens when it catches you surprisingly so, unexpectedly so? That is the reason for this word today. That there are people you won't believe who are behind you. Let me allow, allow me to tell you that if the enemy can't get to you directly so, but he knows that you have people that you trust. Those that you trust, obviously so, you are likely to drop your guard upon. That is why they also use the Judas Iscariot. That is why the devil himself used Peter to whisper false words, telling Jesus, better you do not go to the cross. But fortunately, the Lord was smart enough to recognize that these are the ways of the devil, not of you, Peter. Get thee behind me, Satan. Let, allow me to tell you that right now, whether you are aware or you're not, you must be rest assured that there is a planning that is happening. The enemy already, he has people that he will try to put in your life, if not already they are in your life. And he wants to use them to stab you in the back. But then, of course, you need to be careful. But then again, of course, I yet again, let me tell you that if already you have been stabbed in the back, you are going through pain. Remember to forgive. Remember just to be extra careful. If they have been uh, apologizing, remember those were the eggs of the devil. He used them. And then, of course, I pray more that for those that are still planning, let no plan of the devil work against you. May the Lord protect you from every plot that is being made against you right now with those that you trust, with those that you don't even expect they can stab you in the back. I pray that may you begin to see, may you begin to see them coming in Jesus' name. Amen and see you next time.